that if you were a renter during the pandemic, a rare opportunity opened up to you and rents actually went down. If you were an investor or an owner of a multiplex, that may not have felt so good, but a lot has changed in three years between May of 2022 and May of 2023. Rents have gone up 11.2%. We're seeing double digit growth in rents in the GTA. So what happened? Why are rents so high? First up, more buyers have become renters. There have been very few transactions in Toronto real estate over the past year. Interest rate hikes have sent many buyers to the sidelines to either wait for lower interest rates or because they can't afford to pay these interest rates on their property, especially if they require a stress test. So there are much more buyers in the rental pool, creating a larger rental demand than we've seen before. Reason number two, there is not enough rental supply. Though we are building more rental buildings in this city, the bulk of the rentals are through the condo units that individual owners lease out. So the rental market is tied to the condo market and the condo market is not giving us enough condos to be leased out. In the last 20 years, we are basically building the same number of condos that we used to, but we are 2 million more people in the GTA. We are building half as many condos than we need. Reason number three, people still want to live here. Yes, you could move to Edmonton or Sarnia and you will be paying far less in rent and in any mortgage you would have. And for some people, that is a great idea. Remote work has allowed us to move into other places we didn't think of before. But for many people, Toronto is a place they want to be. It's the kind of place where they can engage with the communities they wish to engage with. It's the kind of place where they can see sports and arts and it's the kind of place where they could advance in their field. So that's my take on why rents are going up. I suspect we won't see rents going up into the double digits for very much longer. There are limits to what people can pay, but I do believe that the rental stock will stay tight over the next five to 10 years and we will continue to see rents edge 